Welcome back. So this video is basically just what the title says it's going to be. How to play SNES games on your 3DS. And it has to be hacked. It has to have custom firmware on it. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description, but you need to have custom firmware on it to be able to do this. Just thought I'd put that out there because I don't want anyone who doesn't have custom firmware thinking they can play the SNES games without purchasing them. So yeah, let's just get into it. You're gonna need a computer, which is where we're going right now, so see you there. So welcome to my desktop. This is where we are going to be explaining how to get SNES games on your 3DS. Before you put your 3DS SD card into your computer, what you're going to want to do is go to this website right here. I'll have it linked in the description so you can just go there and click here. And you'll have a zip file downloaded and then open that. I am using um, WinRAR, but you can use anything else like 7-zip or whatever. And then you can put your SD card in your PC. And so when you have your SD card in your PC, what you, what you want to do is create a new folder and just title it SNES. And that is where you are going to be placing... Why do I have so many tabs open? Your ROMs. So now that you have your ROMs in your folder, you should be good. Actually, no you're not. Um, Take these three files, the ones that you see right here, and just drag them into your 3DS folder. Not your Nintendo 3DS folder, your 3DS folder. And you can, t if you want to download it as a CIA, you can take that CIA file you have on your extracted folder and just drop it in your CIA's folder. Now we can move back to the 3DS. So back at the 3DS, we can apparently forget how to stand up a tripod. What the heck? Come on. We're all waiting. Hurry this up. So then you can put it, your SD card back into your 3DS, put the back plate on, and just turn on your 3DS as normal. Oh, come on, dude. I thought we were over this. I just did this a second ago. I'm really bored. Oh, now we're going to spend forever doing this? Come on. Got a video to watch. So go to your FBI app. Once you're there, you can go to the SD section, Right, that's right up top, just press A, then go to CIA, then go to that app, go to install and delete to save memory on your SD card, and just let it download. It should only take a few seconds, then press B a bunch of times, and then press start to exit. You should then get a notification that there's a new app, it should, it'll be SNES 9X for 3DS. So you can move that to your emulation folder if you want. And that's all you really need to do to get it onto your 3DS. You got it done, you got it done. So once you're on there, you go to the SNES folder that's on there and then realize that you downloaded the wrong file type for your SNES games. So now you need to power off and go and download the right ones. So once you have the right file type downloaded, you're going to put it back into your 3DS and open up the SNES 9X app. Because you're not stupid and you didn't download the wrong ones like I did. So now that you're back in the app, you can go to the SNES folder and it should have your ROMs like this has. So you can just load up any ROMs and it'll work perfectly. That's all you really need to do, but I'm going to show off some of the options here. 
So you can do some screen stretching or screen, uh, screen aspect ratio and stuff that'll change up how the screen looks. So you can have it stretch for the entire screen or make it look like how it originally did on the SNES. Also in the options menu, you can change the font, the frame skip, the frame rate, and frame palette changes, apparently the save data or whatever. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but that's kind of stupid. And all of these other things that I don't really care about. And you can change the button mapping for the controls, which is really cool. I'm glad they let you do that, but I'm not going to use it. I don't really need to. I'm fine with the buttons the way they're laid out. You can use cheats because if you're a cheater, then you can just switch it wrong if you're bored and you're too lazy to go back to the main menu like I was. So yeah, that's basically it. Something else I forgot to mention though is that if you jo d if you don't want to add the app to the home screen and you want to just put it on the homebrew launcher, that's what the 3ds X and like SMDH or something files were earlier. So you don't need that CIA folder if you just want to use it through the homebrew launcher. But I think it would be easier to download the CIA file. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye bye. Alright, give up. I'm tired. Too much work.